guys, welcome to night 7 of 5 nights at Freddy's 4. As I like to call five nights at help. Because it seems like we might need a lot of help in this one, you know. But I mean, I'd just like to say, Scott Cawthon, you have again nailed another. Whoa, I almost spawned Freddy. You've nailed another perfect game. You have nailed it. And, you know, I can't say that about many people. You know, na completely just annihilating games, nailing them. And then you do this one thing, which is pretty awesome. He encrypted a Night 9 in the files. And the only way you can know about it is if you look in the files that you hear now you YouTube talking about it. Now, I did not find it in the files. I listened to a YouTuber talk about that it's encrypted in the files. And I'm like, well... Night 8 is 2020-20 mode. Night 9 isn't really anything. See, I'm probably actually not going to do Night 9. One, because I don't want to hack the game. Two, this game is going to get... You know, I'm going to end up getting enough of this game and be like, I don't want to do any more of this. Uh, I do know I will do Final Freddy's 4 Gary's Mod. Uh, that's... I always have to do the Fights for these Gary's Mods, so... That's, that's an always, you know? And trust me, when I say this, I will do it. I don't know when. Probably again the week of school. So. But I was, I was thinking about doing Gmod Hide and Seek on that Thursday, but... That's who we Gary's Mod Fights for these four. I mean, I did Final Phase 1, Final Phase 2, Final Phase 3. So it only makes sense to do Gary's on Final Phase 4. I didn't even think about it, right? Why not do Gary's on Final Phase 4? Uh, I, I think my favorite Gary's mod, uh, Flint Shreddy's had to be the first one. Because everyone I played since then seemed like it was missing something. You gotta be kidding me, come on. This night is, like, halfway over. Come on. Yeah, it's 3 a.m. It's halfway over. We got like three hours to go. Oh. Stinking little Freddy's. Can I call you guys Fredlets? I think I'll call you guys Fredlets. Go away, you Fredlets. Oh god, that was that was bad. It was like right in the door. So that was almost two deaths. He gonna go away? I'm telling you, this is gonna be the whole entire game until the end, and I won't be able to do anything else, or else I'll die. Are we screwed? I think we're screwed. Dude, you shut both doors. I mean, th this is a kid. He knows that both doors can shut. And just leave him shut. Nothing can get in here. Just gotta worry about Foxy and Freddy. That makes it much easier, because then you're gonna have to worry about two instead of a whole 
army of people. That night, I swear that nightmare is persistent. Well, he go away. Uh. I'm not tired, I just need oxygen. But it ain't a lot of it, I don't know why. Come on. I feel like we're so close. But so far. Yes! Woo, I practically beat the game! Okay, guys, like I tried to mention just a couple episodes ago, Scott Cotton has left us this. Now, what this represents is all the animatronics he ever put into a game, and, well, he put it here. Now, everything ever in a game. Like the Nightmare Fur you up there with the yellow hat that would not leave me alone in that video. You know, Toy Freddy, Freddy, both Fred Bears. The one with the purple hat and the huge jaw. The one with the big black hat to the right above Toy Chica. You got Toy Bonnie and Bonnie. We got Plus Trap all the way, the tiny guy at the bottom. We got Stupid Bloom Boy, which everybody in the world hates. We got Ripped Up Mangle waving at you with its white face in the left. You know, we, everything he has done is unbelievable. The amount of work he's put in is unbelievable. I just want all of you guys to know. Scott Cotton has done all this for you guys and me. You know, putting these games out there. He's in it for all the bunch of YouTubers that play this game. You know, he's really, really made these games something special. And he would have not continued if it was not for your guys' support. So guys, I thank you for that. Because you guys not only made it so he can make money and live. And tend for his family. You made it. You made it so YouTubers had something to, to film. And I thank all you guys for... Buying this game so I can film something. And then it goes back to entertain you guys. So there's a whole entire loop that obtains you guys. And all you guys deserve something great. So yeah. um, I will be doing t the, the 20. How, I, I forget. I'll be doing the 20 mode. Uh, when I get to 200 subscribers. It's like a challenge video. Um, I do have one question though. How did I not die the whole entire game? I did not die the whole game. Finance Freddy's 3, I am just dead. I was annihilated the whole time. Finance Freddy's 2, which I only did the first night. Again, I voted for a poll. And we will be playing Five Nights of Freddy's 1 and Five Nights of Freddy's 2. So that should be awesome. I'm oh, actually going to start Finance Freddy's 2 first. Because we already have night one uh, on mobile. So, I'm going to start with night two and three in one episode. And then we're going to do night three and four, and then we're going to do night five. I'm not going to do any bonus nights for any of the games, though. But it's gonna, we're just going to complete the original five nights. That will be it. So, oh, uh, yeah. Damn. I really, really am going to miss this game. I hope they make Final Fantasy Freddy's action figures. Because it would be cool to do a stop motion. Now, especially with, uh... And one I really want to do is Spring Trap. Gets all the animatronics find him and just maul him. It's like he just kills all the all very, very, uh... Because, you know, all the second game animatronics are different than all the first game animatronics, right? Because all the second game animatronics look like all the fourth game animatronics. You know what I mean? Like just souped up and upgraded and scarier. Because if you think about it, one, in the second game they have endoskeletons, and in the fourth game they do, in the third, in the first game they don't, and in the third game they don't. So in the first and third game, they're meant to look like each other. Second and fourth meant to look like each other, so. Oh, uh, yeah, there's a Toy Freddy in the second game, but 
Freddie himself is not in the second game. Fred Bear is in the second game. Man, okay, yeah. The Call of Sam is Ronald Gash, you think it's on here? My personal favorite out of every single animatronic that's on here. I say I would have to, uh. Man, I, I, man. This is actually hard. Well, my favorite one would actually have to be Fred Bear. The new one. The new Fred Bear would have to be my favorite one. I mean, you know. Mostly because he's just different, you know. It's it's a very unique style. I mean, he goes from going one way to another, you know. The original Fred Bear did not look anything like that. Like he had a super huge change out of anybody. The original Freddy turning into the. You can see the original Freddy is down here in the front. The holding the microphone, he's like in the front. The brown guy in the front. Right behind him is the new Freddy. That's not that much of a change. You know, that's not that big of a change, and if you look at second game Chica, which is, uh, again, right behind Freddy, and like a fourth game Chica, which is right behind the Y and thank you, then you can see that's not that big of a change. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching, please make sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys for the next video.